today we're going to be starting a kind of guide of the characters in Hyrule Warriors. Um, unless you've been under a rock for the past like two, three weeks, you know what Hyrule Warriors is. It's Dynasty Warriors with a Zelda skin. And I've been really enjoying it and really having a lot of fun. So what we're going to do, I've pre-recorded a lot of this footage and I'm going to do narration over it, which is a bit different than my uh, my usual way of doing things. But hopefully we'll cover all the characters. So Link is a super fast character. He's got his his main attack right here, his light attacks. They're great for single targets and for groups with how wide they slash. His strong attack is a spin slash and you can do a very quick version by just tapping the button or you can do a charged up version. And when you do the charged up version, you get the light elemental damage bonus on your hand which I believe will just add more damage on as you juggle groups of foes, I think is how it works. So we're going to get into his combos here. And his first light then strong combo is going to be a rising uppercut type move, I believe. And that's it. And you can actually do aerial stuff, and I will do that. Um, and after every strong attack, if you hold the button down, you'll actually get a special spin slash charged up. It'll immediately put you into your dashing speed, and it sort of is a lunging forward spin slash, and it's great for keeping your combos going. That was the second strong attack, which prov which provides you with a sword beam, which is great for sniping off enemies from afar, if you're able to do that. His third attack is the rising spin slash, which I should be doing any minute now. Um, and I will note that the master sword while we're just sitting here. The Master Sword is great for that beam attack because it does give you more beam attacks. I don't have it unlocked completely, so I'm not really going to be using it. But if you watch... Whoops. If you watch here, you can see the Sword Plant follows the Rising Spin Slash. But also, after you do the Rising, you can do like an aerial combo to enemies and then finish it off with the Sword Plant. Same goes for the first strong combo attack and finally we're going to be looking at see here we do finally we're going to be looking at the um the last strong combo which is the like shoulder barge shield barge dash attack thing and that's absolutely killer it it is a great kind of scrubbyish move for just taking out tons and tons of ads and it's great as a way to keep moving and keep comboing. And it's great all around just to destroy the trash mobs. Link's special attack is the is like a super spin slash. And I'll probably do it in the video. And here is... Or later in the video, I should say. And we're immediately going to a quest with the Hylian Sword. Um, I have to capture some keeps and kill some guards... I start off by going for the Fairy of Light that's trapped here. Um, I'm making quick work of this. This is a very early board in Adventure Mode. So Link is going to make very quick work of this. Especially my Link who's leveled up quite a bit compared to the board and everyone, everyone else I have right now. Mostly because he's my favorite character in the game. I love how fast and just brutal they made him in this game, and it's great, and it feels great uh, for a main character to use. I mean, main character as in your playable main, not as in, and I mean, he is the main character, and you do play him the most in adventure mode. So here I am beelining straight to the place where you need to use the Fairy of Light. Lightning, it's the Fairy of Lightning, not the Fairy of Light, excuse me. And we're going to take down this keep real quick. You're going to see me use the dash attack a lot when I clear keeps. I'm also going to use spin slashes a lot too. Um, it is just way, way too good. Way, way too good a move to use. To, to just skip on using while you're clearing keeps. Or just clearing trash mobs in general. And I'm going to be running around the battlefield here a lot. Mostly because... Taking out the... I think I had to take out Commander. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 
Oh, save the stranded ally units. Um, I'm not immediately rushing that because your allies can actually hold themselves pretty well. I'm clearing out these keeps because... You just gotta clear out keeps. The audio is really low because I have my my record set up for doing the uh, doing audio over the actual Wii U games, so the game audio is going to be extraordinarily low, unfortunately. I might try to mix that up, but we'll see. Uh, I get a little confused here on where to actually run. <laughs> that happens occasionally on these maps. Some of the maps are a little mazy. And I should be going through here and turning right. No, I'm just clearing out the keep again. Just to make sure that keep is is absolutely cleared out. Now, to get an A rank in a quest, you need 1,200 kills. Most of the time, it's under 4,000 damage, and you need to beat the stage in under 15 minutes. And some of the, like, higher on the map, like row 1, row 2 adventure modes, you can actually take much more damage and beat your fine. But for the most part, it's 4,000 damage. That's about half a line of hearts, I think. I don't exactly know how many hearts or how much damage each heart is worth. And we do some spin slashes. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love that Link is a super aggressive character in this game. It just feels really, really, really right. And as you can see... Um, He's got the glowing hand going on, and you'll see these little, like, yellow X's pop up on the enemies. And that is the, if you look, his hand should glow, and now when he hits the enemies, you'll see little X's on them. If you juggle those enemies, you'll deal more damage to them, I believe is how the light damage in this game works. There are, there are five elemental types, it's lightning, fire, water, dark, and light. And fires, enemies explode when they hit the ground. Waters, enemies get like a bubble around their heads, and it's a DPI. It's a damage per second. It's a or it's a dot, I should say. Lightning damage is enemies that are juggled in the air by it take more damage. Dark damage is more consecutive hits against a single enemy deal more damage, and light damage is more consecutive hits against a group of enemies deal more damage. So for like Link and Zelda, when they have their glowing hands going on and you deal consecutive hits to enemies that have that X on them, that light damage X, you will deal more damage to them per consecutive hit, I believe is how that works. And here we are clearing to keep and getting a normal chest. Like I said, this is a very, very early stage and I just wanted to clear it out to give, to do like a very quick Link a quick run through of a stage with Link just to speed through it as fast as possible with little to no disregard for my allies or myself. So I run through that keep which would require a fairy to clear out the barrier. Going after another Poe. Poe's um, are kind of annoying. They... I mean a lot of the enemies are kind of annoying. And here I go back, loot horn. Um, only because you have to wait for them to get their weak point gauge. You have to wait for them to do a super attack that charges up. And it can get kind of annoying to just sit there and wait for it. And that's true for a lot of enemies. There is kind of a a bit of a problem with waiting for certain enemies to do certain attacks to so you can you can respond with your counter attack. Now I don't I didn't immediately kill the keep guard because I wanted to pick off one or two other guys he had. Because I still need to get to the 1200. And that's mostly why I'm not just immediately taking out the enemy commander. I'm not worried about time here. I'm mostly worried about... Or even damage, because this is a lower level one. I'm mostly worried about getting into that 1200. So I'm going around and killing outpost captains and... Trash mobs and all sorts of things to just try and get to that number. Uh, I don't really use the focus spirit to take out random guys. I tend to save that for bosses. I have no problem using the special attack though against against uh, trash mobs just because it clears things out very quickly. And I think that's true for every character even though they all aim it kind of differently. Um, but yeah, Link is just great at destroying trash mobs and he's great at destroying bosses too. 
And I believe this will get this will have me go in after I clear this keep. I'll be going down to the boss, which is Wizarro, one of the new characters for the game. New bad guy characters that was released in the recent DLC. Which I did I did get um I'm gonna have almost all the characters in whatever costumes I've unlocked I've unlocked. So I do have Link's Master Quest purple outfit unlocked. I just I prefer green. It's my favorite color. So yeah. Bum bum bum. More spin slashes. Just spam spin slashes like a total scrub to get up to the twelve hundred and then move on. And of course, loot horror materials as you go, except I just ran by one. Free keep. Might as well get it. I'm not overly concerned with getting every single material drop in this stage. It's mostly about speed running through it. Now I'm going to just beeline towards Wizaro, and I should take him out extraordinarily quickly. I mean, I just immediately go focus spirit and smack him around. Um, I do immediately go into the finishing move. You have When you do Focus Spirit, you have two options. You can just let it go out, and your character will sort of scream and do a big explosion. Or you can hit the special attack button, and you'll do uh, a finisher that will end Focus Spirit, but it gives you a free weak point gauge. So I just did that to get him down quickly. And I usually do that with pretty much every every boss. And it's almost necessary a little later in the game to do that. Just so you can get that free weak point gauge and knock out, knock off a chunk of health, especially if it's like Xant or someone who doesn't doesn't activate weak point gauges a lot. So that was the Hylian Sword against a pretty simple group. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Next up is going to be Link with the Magic Rod.